what's up y'all it's nappy food all up on your screen and today is skin time with nappy food uh, 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 what was that anyway today i'm going to use one of my favorite face masks y'all and this has really helped in the improvement of my skin so i'm going to show you what type of routine i like to do with this face mask so if you want to know what's up with this girl's skin keep watching nappy food checking in let go <music> Welcome back, y'all, to Nappy Food TV. If you're new to my channel, I appreciate you letting me be all up on your screen, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. In case you're new to my channel, let me tell you what Skin Time with Nappy Food is. This is a series in which I document my journey towards healthier skin. I've been dealing with adult acne, hormonal acne for far too long, and your girl is tired of it. I feel so blessed to be able to document this on YouTube because I know... Based, based on how y'all been reacting, a lot of y'all can relate to this struggle. So that's what this whole series is about. Journey towards healthier skin. So if you want to see more videos within this series, make sure you check the description box where I have links to the playlist. All these lovers, they tell me. All right, let's get into the ingredients that you'll be using today. You will need, of course, bentonite clay, the star of the show, the headliner, the boss chick, you feel. And you're going to need apple cider vinegar. This is what I'll use to mix it. You can use water, but it's most beneficial to use ACV because it helps the pH balance bentonite clay. And of course, you need a plastic bowl or spoon. You can also use wooden. How to mix bentonite clay for your face. In this video right here, how to use bentonite clay. I posted this maybe a few months ago. And in this one, I go into so many details on mixing it. I even show you how I pH balance it. Remember on last week's, on this week's Sunday video, I talked about how bentonite clay has a high pH. So you want to involve something acidic. I failed to mention that you can still use water. I show y'all how I do it in this video, but you have to make sure you're still including something acidic. Lemon juice, aloe vera, ACV, you have to have that in order to pH balance this. So whether you're using it for your hair or for your face, it needs to be pH balanced. Check the link in the description box for more details. Now let's talk about some of the benefits of bentonite clay for our skin, because there's plenty. It regenerates our skin tissues, draws out toxins, helps with acne, unclogs our pores, it's like a natural exfoliator. It helps to even out like your skin tone if you have skin discoloration, makes your skin feel softer, you get this natural glow. It's just so much, y'all. Check the description box. I put a link to a blog that gives you a lot more details, including the minerals and vitamins you get from bentonite clay. All the educational stuff is out the way. It's time to apply. And while we do this, let's go ahead and have some skin time chat update. This is the current state of my skin, y'all. Significantly better. Glory to God. If you've been rocking with me for a minute, you know what my trouble areas were. My cheeks. My cheeks, cheek, 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 cheeks was just a magnet for everything I did not want, okay? And one thing, I don't know if y'all know, but based on face mapping, when you break out in your cheeks, it's definitely hormonal. So I was having hormonal breakouts, which I hated emotionally. I hated it, y'all. But it's definitely a lot better, and I give God the complete glory, okay? Hallelujah. Now let me talk about some key contributors to the improvement of my skin as I apply my mask. Let me just say the first and foremost thing you have to look at when you have a skin issues is internally. So I looked at my diet and I felt like the number one thing that I do probably quite a bit is meat. I eat a lot of meat, a lot. But when I say meat, I'm talking about chicken because y'all know I don't eat red meat. So chicken, chicken, chicken. I cut that out. I cut the chicken out completely for a few months. And lo and behold, my skin started to get better. So I got my answer. So as we speak right now, your girl is not vegan. Okay. I know you're probably thinking, like, oh, she's vegan now. No, I'm not. But I do practice more of a vegetarian type of lifestyle. In addition to chicken, y'all, I also increase my vegetable and my fruit intake, especially greens. And I also started drinking a lot more um, tea, like ginger tea and green tea. And I really believe that all those contribute to, to where my skin is today. It's hard not to eat chicken as much as I used to, but it came down to either having skin that makes me cry or skin that makes me smile. Simple choice. I want to do a more detailed video about this journey in another video, y'all. This one is just a quick update on where my skin is at. So my upcoming video, probably like in the next few weeks, would be a lot more detailed. And I would love your input. So if there's any questions you want me to answer in the next video when I give you more details about my skin time journey, go ahead and post in the comment box below. And I'll be sure to include some of those in that video, okay? All right, let's get back to this one. 15 minutes later, my mask is all dry. 
Once this mask has dry, it lets you know it's time to rinse it off and you want to use lukewarm water. You definitely get that dry, tight feeling, almost like it's pulsating, but it lets you know those toxins are being drawn out. And by the way, when you use a mask, don't forget your neck area, y'all, okay? It's just as important. All right, so here's the aftermath. And as I show y'all my face after the face mask, I'm going to talk about what I do externally that has definitely helped to improve my skin. So my skin looks a little dry right here, but of course it will because that bentonite clay has drawn out all them toxins that was just chilling all up in my pores. You feel me? So after all this, you have to pH balance. So one of my favorite toners is the Thayer's Witch Hazel. Toners helps to pH balance your skin back after you wash your face, after you use a face mask, you use a face treatment, whatever be the case. I love this toner specifically. It's my number one. I don't use any other one, y'all. And I get this one from Whole Foods. Aloe vera gel. Very hydrating, moisturizing, and blemish clearing, okay? When it comes to my black mark... Did, did I just burp right there? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sorry, y'all. When it comes to these black marks and everything, aloe vera gel has helped to has been helping to clear those out and nourish my skin. Speaking of nourishing, jojoba oil. Jojoba oil has been said to mimic our sebum. So using jojoba oil has definitely helped in the improvement of my moisture level. Because I think what it does is kind of trick your sebum into thinking there's already oil there. So, there, so that way your pores don't work as hard. And after all of that great stuff, sometimes I still get breakouts, you know? So I use a blemish stick, yep, to get those little boogers out the way. I get this I get this one from Whole Foods. All these products I get from Whole Foods. So that blemish stick is one of my favorite ones. Two days later, sucker is gone. If you want to try some of the products that I use in my regimen, go ahead and click on the description box. I found links to where you can purchase it online. This journey has not been easy, it's, but it's been very exciting. And I'm so happy that y'all are rocking with me on this Skin Time with Nappy Foo. And I hope you're not bored yet because there's a lot more to come. Okay. Let's get into today's Snapchat question. Now, I told you one of my favorite masks is Bentonite Clay. I have several others, which I will be sharing with y'all in Skin Time. But what is your favorite mask, whether it's DIY or store bought? Let me know in the comment box below. Okay, okay. If you liked today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Nappy Food, and make sure you turn on notifications by hitting that bell. If you happen to get a little bored during the week, hang out with me on my other social media accounts, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, order that, order that. And I will catch you on the next one. Until then, remember y'all to have healthy skin, healthy hair, healthy life. You have to, you got to, you most, it is imperative that you do healthy things. If I told you you were if I told you you were if I told you you were beautiful beautiful If I told you you were beautiful beautiful If I told you you were beautiful beautiful